Today on our 2018 Ford Explorer, you're going to be taking a look at, I'm going to show you how to install the Concha T1 vehicle wiring harness for factory tow packages with 7-way trailer connector, part number 118272. This is what our wiring looks like when it's installed. It's going to provide you with all the necessary functions you need for your trailer, both turn signals, your running lights, your brake lights, reverse light signal, and also a signal for your brakes if you have trailer brakes. It's going to have a nice durable plastic cover, spring-loaded cap. The cap's going to have a rubber seal in it. It's going to seal around here. It's going to keep any moisture or anything like that from getting on your connections. Your wire is going to come equipped with some wire loom to help protect it. The seven pole plug will fit in a variety of different seven pole holders or brackets. As far as the installation, it is a very simple installation. It's going to plug directly into your factory wiring. All you need to do is route it over to where you're wanting to attach it to your hitch and mount it in that location. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let's show you how to get it installed. This is what you're going to get your kit. You're going to get your wiring harness. It's going to connect into your factory tow package wiring, your seven pole plug, and your connector that's going to connect your wiring into your plug, along with some zip ties. Along with your kit, I suggest getting some longer zip ties. You're going to need a seven pole bracket. You're also going to need a short bracket and some dielectric grease. This is going to help keep your connections from corroding. So what we need to do is on our passenger side, you're going to see a plug right here. We need to unplug that. So we're going to push in the tab and pull out. You'll see our two connections. We're going to put a little bit of dielectric grease on our connectors. And then we're just going to match our plugs. Push them in to hear them click. So what we're going to do with our wiring, we're going to go up behind the bumper. And the reason is, is there's nowhere to run it across here without getting close to the exhaust. And we want to make sure we stay away from any heat source. So I'm going to take an airline tube. You can use a wire hanger, uh, anything that has a little bit of stiffness to it. And we're going to feed it up behind the bumper fascia. We're going to come around and we're going to reach up like that. Now we're going to take the end of our wire, tape it to the end of our airline tube. Make sure I cover those connections good. I don't want to damage the metal ends. And we'll just slowly start to pull this up and over the top. It can be a little bit of a pain to get it up and over top of that. It's got to go up pretty high and over the top or else it'll get stuck or it'll feel like it's stuck. So it is a little bit of a pain. However, it's going to save you a lot of time and trouble later on because this heat is not going to affect the wiring. So now what we'll do is we're going to run this over just like this. We're going to be connecting it about here. So go over top of our back of our hitch here this. Then we can remove our airline tube or hanger or whatever it is that you're using. So now we're going to make our connections into the back of our plug. You can see the way this is facing. This is where you would release it off the back of your seven pole plug. Brown, go in this bottom left corner here. Blue is going to go into this bottom right corner. White is going to go into this large hole over on the right side. Red is going to go just above the white. I'm going to go yellow is going to go right into the center. Black is going to go right here onto the left center. Our green is going to go into this top left hole. And what we're doing is, if you see that open side, on the inside there's a little tab. That little tab is what locks that into place. So we need to just get that turned so it will slide all the way in there. We'll lock that into place like that. So once we get our wires installed, we're going to take our little clip that comes in our kit. We'll slide it in like this. 
we're just going to pop it into place. That's going to hold our wire down. So I'm going to take my included screws. I'm going to mount my seven pole bracket to my short bracket first. Put our screws in. Take our two included nuts. Then we'll just take a Phillips or flathead screwdriver, tighten them into place. So what we had determined is that if we put our short bracket like this, our seven pole is not going to fit here. And then we won't be able to get our plug onto the back. So what we're going to have to do is remove this. And we're going to flip it over, hook our bracket on like this, and this is going to face down. Now we're going to take our included hose clamp, come up behind our hitch. And then we'll get it tightened into place. The flat hitch screwdriver. Then we can just cut off our excess. Next we'll install our seven pole plug with the included screws and nuts. We'll have one for each corner. And then we'll tighten them down with the flat hitch screwdriver. You want to make sure that these, you don't tighten these real tight because you don't want to crack the plastic housing on your seven pole plug. Now we'll take some dielectric grease again, add it to our connector here, plug it right into. Then we'll take some of our longer zip ties and secure the rest of our wiring right up to the back of our hitch. Then we can come back, cut off our excess. Next, we'll test out our wiring using an alternate power source. Left turn, right turn, brake lights, running lights. That'll do it for a look at an installation on the Takasha T1 vehicle wiring harness for factory tow packages with seven-way trailer connector, part number 118272 on our 2018 Ford Explorer. Thanks for watching. Click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave us a comment if you have any questions.